And welcome back. The Poets Network and Exchange announced its annual Bronx Book Fair. And the book fair is dedicated to engaging and growing community of poets and writers in the Bronx and connecting readers of book love, as well as book lovers, I should say, of all ages. Now, joining us to share more details is the executive director of the Bronx Book Fair, Lorraine Curley. And we uh, thank you so much for being with us, Lorraine. Thank you for having me. Again, an exciting time as we are connecting book lovers. And uh, what you got for us this year? Well, what we have for you this year is more exciting programming. Just to mention some of the wonderful things and exciting things that will be happening. We have a women's author panel, the National Writers Union panel. We have a Bronx Library Center librarians panel, and we have children's programming for the duration of the fair starting at 12 noon. We also have our wonderful moderators representing the Bronx and other locations, uh, Edward Carelli, Maria Aponte, George Wallace, Robert Anthony, and Robert Anthony Gibbons, as well as Debbie Tucson, Kill day. Um, um, among the poets that we have, some of the poets, we actually have combined over 40 poets uh, reading this year, performing, reading and performing. We have Tim and Deedle Tomlinson, Makila B. Amani, Eileen Klein, Ron Whitehead, Prince A. McNally, Yokeri Talveres, Jesus Papalito Melendez. Bobby Gonzalez, Roxanne Hoffman, and again, Edward D. Carolla, he'll be reading as well as facilitating William F. DeVault, John Burroughs. So we have quite a few. I could just go on and on, on and on with the list because as I stated, we have over 40 poets and spoken word artists participating. And this also gives you an opportunity to really engage poets poets and artists at another level. Uh, what's it mean for you to be able to have these poets and artists be able to participate in this event? The wonderful thing about it, since um, the pandemic, we're just delighted and thrilled that we've been able to continue our programming, our annual Bronx uh, Book Fair. So we're doing it, this is a virtual event. It's virtual and the wonderful thing uh, that has been um, happening, Diane, is that because it's virtual, we're able to engage a lot, engage with a larger audience. So we are global as well. We're local, national, and we're global. So uh, the world is being represented, not only with participation by attendees, but also artists as well representing such a, such places as Greece, France, um, Spain, Puerto Rico, just all different, all different locations. And this is very, very exciting. And as I say, we're thrilled that we've been able to continue. We were determined not to be deterred by the pandemic. So this is wonderful and exciting for us. And so for Bronxites and those across New York City, um, an opportunity to be able to watch virtually, what do they need to do? And uh, is there a registration fee? Give us that. What we're doing where we have had um, attendees to register in the past, but what we're going to do, we're going to try something new and that's not um, have them um, necessarily register at all, but at a certain time, we're just going to um, put up the meeting ID number and the password. The chances are, chances are, we're probably just going to have them put up the information, um, Zoom information uh, for them just to register and they'll automatically get the meeting ID and the password. So we'll probably go with that, but there's a chance we're just putting it out there that we may go the other route. So we're exploring that. But anyway, they'll be able to participate and locate us because we're putting our links, we're putting everything on social media, our Facebook group, 
our Twitter. So they'll have links everywhere that all they have to do is just click and they're in. Ah, that's it. So what do you hope people take away from this experience? We're hoping that what everyone takes away from this experience, a feeling of community, enrichment, and unity. And since the pandemic that we're not alone, we're all busy uh, trying to navigate this new way of living. But we want them to take away hope and joy, a sense of resiliency and just happiness, happiness, and that we're there for them. We love our community and we're here for them. And so as you look to- But we last, always, that's what we do all the time. Yeah, as, as you look to last year and you saw what happened last year, now you take a look at this year, um, you know, what do you, what, what's the difference between the two uh, last year and this year? And what would you like to see happen? Well, you know what? Every year is so different. We grow every year and new people come into our lives, new attendees, and new participants. So there's always a sense of growth and we're, we're learning how to navigate this whole technology. So we're constantly, which is, a, which is good, we're constantly growing. And the wonderful thing is the community, our community grows with us. We're all in this together. We're the People's Book Fair. We're always growing together and they're very supportive we're supporting they lift us up we lift them up and this is not a and this is not a poets network and exchange bronze book fair this is the people's bronze book fair so we're all working this together and before um i forget and time runs out i want to just say that the bronze book fair is happening this year on at on august the 13th from 12 noon to 7 p.m. That's August the 13th, from 12 noon to 7 p.m. And what we're doing to lift off the Browns Book Fair on Friday night from 6 to 8, we're inviting the community in via Zoom because we're having an award ceremony for uh, the legendary poet in Goma Hill. In Goma Hill. So he's receiving um, the Poets Network and Exchange first Lifetime Achievement Award. So we're excited about that. And all you need to go to um, our social media and you go to Bronx Book Fair or Poets Network and Exchange, and all the information is up everywhere. So we're really um, excited and we thank Bronx Neck, we thank you, we thank Patricia Burton as well uh, for inviting us here so that we can share this information with the community. So yeah. well, we're glad everyone that will be able to con uh, connect. Sorry for cutting you, but I, I want to let you know we're glad to have you. Best wishes with the Bronx Book Fair. We got to leave it there, but thank you so much for being with us. And thank you. Thank you. It's always a joy to be back at home with the Bronx, Bronx Net TV and you. A joy to have you. Behind me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we you. hope to see you. We uh, hope to see all of you. And we, Bronx forever. Bronx. <laughs> Stay Bronx strong. That's it. That's it. Okay. We, we, we want to let our viewers know that if you want more information, listen, you can follow them on Twitter and Facebook at Bronx Book Fair. 